Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here. I got another question recently about how do you automate manual test scripts that you've written for a story after you've completed them. Now my first suggestion on that topic is don't do it. Don't try to automate manual test scripts. Why? Why don't you try to automate manual test scripts? Well, a manual test script is written for a manual tester. It's written for someone who's going to read through the test script and execute the steps one by one. Now, on the surface of it, that sounds like something you could automate, but it turns out it's designed for manual testers. It's not designed for a computer. If you leverage, if you want to leverage automation, you want to make the computer do the, uh, do the heavy lifting, make get the most value of what the computer's good at. And that's doing more comprehensive testing, broader testing. But the way you can do that is not with a manual test script. The way you do that is you look at your manual test script and you track back to the requirement that that test script is testing. And you try and represent the requirement in a way that you could automate it. For example, your test script might walk through a scenario where you check out an item and you check that the tax is correctly calculated and you uh, check that when you uh, when you pick a... Uh, a postage option that it gets correctly reflect, re reflected in the final price. That might be a test script. If you're turning that into an automated test script, then you're going to look at the business rules. You're going to say, okay, tax is correctly calculated. What does that mean? Well, there are different types of tax depending on the state, depending on the product, or depending on whether it's international, whatever. That you're going to come up with a set, an automated acceptance criteria, an automated test, an executable specification, if you like, that describes the business rules around those tax calculations. Then you move to postage. Okay, what's the deal with postage? What are the different options there? How many different options do we need to cater for? And you're going to have a business rule around that, and you'll have an automated test that focuses on demonstrating that all of those business rules are, for, are, are covered. If you wanted to do that with a manual test script, you'd have to go through every path every time, and that wouldn't be very effective. But if you take an automated approach, you can get a lot more leverage by focusing on the business rules and focusing on getting the breadth across the different variations in each business rule, rather than trying to just emulate or simulate what a manual tester would do. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives some clarity on my take on how to automate manual test scripts. Thanks for listening, folks.